Daniel Day Lewis. I really was scared. Yeah. Because exactly what you said. He is intimidating because he stays in character. When I was sitting across from him, it what he's intense. He just has these dark eyes. He just looks at you. And my heart definitely was in the back of my throat, which does affect talking. It was the crucible. Now the crucible was about witches and but the main story was he played a married man and there was a young girl that wanted him and wanted to figure out how to get rid of his wife gee just like today so yeah. my question which i didn't realize was going to change everything i looked at him and i said isn't it amazing it's 400 years from when this movie is set and a woman's scorn is someone yeah. not to realize you have to take them seriously. And he starts to laugh because I, I brought the 400 years from the 1600s to the 1900s. Instead yeah. of asking him about his character, that was the theme and it affects who he played, which she went after him and he rejects her. So then she goes after his wife, okay? Wow. Then on That's in the news now. <laughs> and so he answers it. But in the answer, a smile trickles out. And that's the signal. I'm home. Or I like to say I have them right here. He, wow. said, he said things to me like, I didn't do well in school. Now, I also know in interviewing Anthony Hopkins, who said the same thing, but Anthony Hopkins wanted to be a musician. He was playing the piano and, he, and I couldn't figure out how could a man whose father was the poet laureate of England and his mother was an actress, that he just didn't fit in, but he didn't fit in. Okay, and I didn't know this. When I asked the question, I didn't have this little piece of research or I went back and looked at the interview and he talks about not fitting in. And I didn't know why, because I didn't know why with Anthony Hopkins either. Interesting. I, I'm going to tell you why he didn't fit in that he answered me, which I didn't know. His mother was a famous actress his, and his father, I already said, but she was Jewish. He went to school and he was picked on for being Jewish and rich and made miserable. Wow. I don't know that, but he sensed enough to give me the, the rest of the story in a way saying I was a failure in school. I didn't like it. That he tells me. I just didn't know what was behind it until you invited me to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go back and look and see, and see if what comes up. And that's what came up. In fact, just another little thing about his family is that his grandfather was knighted, sir, because he ran, open, created Ealing Studios. There were only two big studios in England, and that was one of them. And that was on the mother's side, so that was the Jewish grandfather. So it was really interesting about that question. So. I have to say that I did see him after this interview. It was for a party for another film and and it was his film and, and he's, this is a party and he's sitting at a table alone. Mm. And I went over and I sat down and I said, I don't expect you to remember me but you have no idea how generous, that's a big word to use when you're talking to a star, that yeah. how generous you were to me. You gave me the most incredible interview for the film, The Crucible. And then we wow. just- Wow. Nobody talks to him because he's intimidating. He really, were you scared? Like the yeah. first time you met him? The first time I was terrified. Yeah. On, 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 on meeting him at an Oscar party, I'm an Oscar voter, so I get invited. I wasn't the least bit intimidated because I had nothing to lose. I had nothing. Wasn't going to interview him. It's if he doesn't talk in an interview, I'm dead. <laughs> right.
you can't do an interview and they don't talk to you. <laughs> Just remember that. Okay, but there are other things to know. Making that movie, and I was mixed up. I thought Arthur Miller wrote it. I thought his daughter came on the set, but it's more interesting than that. Arthur Miller invited him to dinner at his house because they were shooting on the East Coast. And that's where he meets Arthur's daughter, Rebecca. And that's who he's married to. And he met her while the film was being made and, and they got married the same year. So they got married in like six months or something like that. The same year. Are they still married? Still married, have two sons. And wait, today on deadline? Today, yes, the retired Daniel Day Lewis has seen on a film set with a big mustache, but it's a secret. Oh, it's a secret, but Deadline just blasted it out. <laughs> well, they think he's because he had retired. Yes, okay. They think it's really because he's doing a favor for either the star of the film or the director. And it's being done in Manchester, and I know nothing else. And, and that's just a funny, funny piece that we're talking about him from the man that retired at 67. I do like him, I have to say. But I like scary men, that men that scare me. <laughs> well, it was, there is one more that really scared me, and we'll talk about him the next time, is Al Pacino. 